Good afternoon, ladies. I have a message for the bit of baby mamas on today. And we've had this discussion several times, but this discussion could never be talked about enough because it is a huge problem in our community, especially in our black community. I can't speak for any other race of people, but I can only speak for my community because I'm among my community as a leader in the kingdom of God and just dealing with people, counseling people, helping people on all different, you know, um, levels concerning family issues and having my own experiences as well. I'm telling you that there is a problem when it comes to these bitter baby mamas that think that they can control a man and his family and anybody connected to him simply because he may not want you but he want to be a father to his child he want to assume responsibility as he should for the child that he helped bring into this world whether he wanted a baby or not, he's trying, he stepped up. He tried to step up, trying to step up and be there for that child. But you making his life a living hell because he don't want you. And nine times out of 10, you knew he didn't want you when you decided to get pregnant. Nine times out of 10, you got pregnant on purpose. Nine times out of 10, you stopped taking your birth control. Nine times out of 10, you got off birth control. Nine times out of 10, you set the whole thing up and meant to get pregnant. And you knew that man didn't want you and you knew he didn't want no baby. So we got to take accountability later. He's not saying that that man's not responsible for not wearing protection because he is. That's why I tell my sons, you can never say that a woman trapped you. Because at the end of the day, if you didn't protect yourself, then you didn't get trapped. I don't care if she did plan to get pregnant. I don't care if she got off birth control and was taking every vitamin and doing every position she could possibly do, keeping up with her, um, you know, her, her cycle and when she's ovulating and everything to purposely get pregnant. You still didn't get trapped because you should protect yourself. But at the same time, ladies, you got to take accountability because, again, you knew that man did not want you. And that's okay. As long as he being a stand-up guy to assume responsibility and take care of his child, let that man take care of his child in peace. Stop thinking that you could control that man, control his family, control people that's connected to him, and try to control his love life because he don't want you. It was clear before you got pregnant, 9 out of 10, that he didn't want you. And even if he mis misled you in any kind of way, you still saw the red flags. And you still chose to go and get that baby without being married, without a real commitment. You decided to put yourself in that situation. So how about just like he got to be accountable and responsible, you got to take accountability and be responsible and cut the foolishness out and try to co-parent in a healthy way that's going to help you feel better, help him feel better, and everybody that's involved and connected to that child. And it's definitely going to help your child be healthy mentally, spiritually, physically, in every aspect of life, a baby don't deserve to be caught up in the middle of your drama and in the middle of your issues and, and have you project all of your pain and all of your resentment and your anger and your enviousness for whatever, you know, reason that you have and all against that father. That child don't deserve that. You need to be accountable. You're not a victim. Stop playing victim when you know fully well what you was getting yourself into. A victim is somebody who has someone force something upon them without them knowing, without their consent. You're not a victim. You're not a victim. You're not a victim if you knew that man didn't want you. You're not a victim if that man told you at least one time that he don't want you. In some cases, some women are so sick, that man will try to leave, tell you he don't want you, and tell you all kind of things to let you know that this is not it. And some women are so crazy, they will manipulate the man and have a man, you know, uh, uh, feel sorry for them and stay with them out of pity. Get caught up in situations out of pity because you tell the man, I'm going to die. I'm going to kill myself if you leave me. Don't leave me. I don't have nobody but you, and et cetera. And then you go and try to get a baby or go and get a baby. And then when the man still don't want you and he finally realized that he just do not want to deal with you, no matter what you proclaim to be going through, he wants to be free from you and, 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 and still be a parent to his um, child. You want to torment the man when you know fully the games that you played. To be in that same situation, go sit your crazy self down somewhere and go see a therapist. Go get you some Jesus and stop harassing that man and harassing his family. I'm just over it. I've seen it too many times. One thing I must say, I got pregnant at 15, had my first baby at 16. I ain't, I ain't never been a type of female that will stop a man from being in his child life, that will stop a man from taking care of his child, wanting to see his child. I don't care what we got going on. The baby don't have absolutely anything to do with it. And age don't have anything to do with you doing the right thing concerning your child and allowing that man to be in your life. You had enough sense to go lay down and have a baby. You had enough sense to go plan to have a baby, get a baby, and, and be in a situation that you're in. Act like you got some sense. 
Go get some healing again. Go get some help. Go see a therapist. Do whatever you got to do. Go get at the altar. But please leave that man and his family alone. You're going to have to suffer the consequences one day sooner than later. It's a shame that a lot of uh, black men got to go and get their kids legitimized and got to go through the system and take all kind of classes and have the white man that run the system tell them what to do and what they should do and, and how they got to do things to be able to be a part of their child life when they decide to take the legal route because that crazy baby mama, you crazy baby mamas, won't let that man just see his child and be there for his child. And you know the man uh, you know, is a good father, a great father. Might not want you, but he's a great father. Leave that man and his family alone and go get the help that you desperately need. I'm here to tell you if nobody else told you, if your mama won't tell you, your grandma won't tell you, your aunties won't tell you. I'm telling you today, if you are that woman that know that that man may not want you, don't want you. There ain't no man in the uh, 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 equation. He don't want you. But he loves his kid. He's a great father. He won't do nothing to hurt that child. He'll do anything for that child. And you know it. But you blocking that man. You harassing him. You making everything so difficult. You just being a nag for no reason. Let me tell you something. Leave that man alone. I, I, I tell you what. There's some situations where I've told a man, I'm sorry, baby. You know, you got to use discernment because some of these women is crazy. Sometimes you do got to cut all ties and just be done. Out of sight, out of mind. Because let me tell you, sit there and think some of these women won't be crazy enough to even kill you. Some men are have been murdered, have been stopped, have been just, you know, abused by women. And they'll use these kids as a tool to stay connected. And they get more and more deranged, more and more crazy. I'm here to tell you that you got a problem. You've allowed yourself to become so full of bitterness. So full of your wickedness. And sometimes y'all just been wicked from the beginning. It's in your DNA. <laughs> you was raised by some witches. And you're out here trying to be a witch and, and control and torment another man's life. Leave these men alone that want to be men. We have enough problem with the men. Too many men that don't even want to be a father. Too many men out here don't even want to be responsible for their child. Even in the marriage. And y'all out here got a man... That may not want you, that don't want you, but he want to be a father. And y'all around here making his life a living nightmare. There's some situations so bad. I say, I don't blame that man if he don't want to have nothing to do even with the child. Because people deserve to be happy. People deserve to have peace. People don't have to um, contend with situations that's going to be a living daily nightmare. Being tormented. You can't do nothing right. You go right. They want you to go left. Go left. They want you to go right. You can't uh, reason with mental illness. You can't come to a common ground with a mental problem. With a demon, you can't. There's no reason with a demon. There's no reason with a mental problem. Mental issues need to be dealt with by a therapist. Demons need to be cast out. Demons need to be prayed out, fast out. People need to press for deliverance and seek God. You can't, you know, reason with those things. Those things need to be uprooted and dealt with. So if you are that baby mama, I'm, kind of, I'm calling you out on today. Leave these men and their families alone. My God, I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, I got two sons, but I'm telling you right now, I done made up in my mind. No female. I pray my sons, I already got one son that got two kids out of wedlock, but I pray my baby boy, he have all his kids from the right lady, a decent woman, marry her and be in the household with his kids and don't have uh, these baby mama issues. Because I'm telling you right now, I'm not letting no woman control me and have me on the roller coaster and, and have me up and down in my emotions and, and snatching the baby back and forth from me for any little thing. Soon as she can't have her way, soon as she can't get a break in, you know, uh, with, with my son because it didn't work out between her and my son for whatever the reason may be, whether my son was wrong or right. People have the right to make mistakes in life and still be able to, you know, apologize, repent, redeem themselves, move on and have a shot at a healthy, decent life, making better choices, treating people better than they did in the past. They don't have to stay in no prison to somebody because they did you wrong because they made a mistake especially when people make mistakes in their younger years younger and, and, and making mistakes we all make mistakes a person don't have to be a prisoner to you because of a mistake they made concerning you y'all are crazy but i'm telling you right now i'm that <laughs> grandma as y'all can see i love people i'll do anything for anybody i don't even have to know you but it ain't no woman finna bewitch me and have me under no power you and your baby can go and i tell my son the same thing y'all y'all can go Mm -mm. I'm not dancing to nobody's music. I'm not being tormented by nobody. I'm going to have peace. I'm going to have happiness. I'm going to have joy. I'm going to love on who love me. I'm, I'm going to, you know, uh, be a part of who want to be a part, you know, of my life. 
Uh, that's just that. I'm not doing it. I'm not being tormented by no crazy deranged baby mama. You're not about to have me up and down because no ma'am, I'm not doing it. And some of y'all grandmas, y'all need to do the same thing. Let them go.